Hello folks, in this video I am going to explain about PAM, PUB, that is Pluggable Authentication Module. So basically this is used to authenticate users uh, uh, for accessing any Linux based application. Okay, so let us uh, try to understand uh, what is this uh, pluggable authentication module means and uh, we can see a demo after that. Okay, so let's uh, uh, assume the user uh, is uh, trying to access an application. Uh, first, the user has to be authenticated by the Linux system so that it, it can uh, give the required requested access to the uh, user so first he will have to uh, the enter his credentials which is the username and the password uh, and the system will uh, verify that against the information that is stored under the slash etc pass wd file and slash etc slash uh, uh, shadow file which has the password once they match it will uh, straight away uh, give the access to the application so that's a normal scenario so uh, in here basically uh, it is little vulnerable uh, in the sense like uh, the application uh, has to take care of this authentication process by itself so people found uh, i mean later uh, they came up with a new idea of introducing a new module called pluggable authentication module which takes care of the authentication part uh, uh, for the application so basically pluggable authentication module will uh, do the authentication job for the applications okay so the uh, basically when you say pluggable authentication model it uh, majorly does four kinds of uh, um, uh, services or it can uh, give four kinds of uh, restrictions or uh, uh, security tightening uh, features so one is the uh, as the name says it does the basic authentication part and uh, the second one is uh, the account once the authentication is successful it will again verify if the authenticated user is uh, allowed uh, or uh, can access the uh, uh, software that is running in the uh, 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 actual account he is trying to log in so uh, that is the account verification third one is the session so session is actually will verify whether this uh, user has exceeded the number of sessions already or he is within the limits and things like that we can limit the uh, session for the particular user and fourth one is the password in case if you want to restrict the password uh, usage uh, by giving an uh, expiry time and things like that or if you want to uh, verify the password so we can use the PAM module to do these kind of jobs okay so um, uh, and then uh, uh, once uh, uh, it will have a configuration file uh, for, on its for its uh, uh, purpose and then uh, it does the authentication uh, for the application so it does go it goes through the configuration file uh, that are present under slash etc slash pam dot b and uh, slash etc and slash security those are the places you can see the configuration files that are being used by the pam and uh, it will go through this configuration file once they are uh, through so it, it will either uh, give a success or it will uh, give a no to the access uh, request for the user let's try to understand a little more on the linux uh, pam architecture uh, so basically uh, uh, by default these are the applications uh, which normally support uh, is supported in the uh, distributions that we generally download so we, we can use the pam for uh, login we can use the pam for uh, su and we can uh, use the pam for ssh and various other applications if you want to provide any other applications spam awareness we can try to write our own uh, code into it and then create the library attached to it and then we can create the application as a pam aware application okay so the pam uh, has the configuration file uh, to use that and as i had mentioned it will have lot of service modules which means it has got is going to have 
lot of shared object models uh, 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 for the uh, purpose of uh, doing the uh, authentication, account management, session management, and password management. So all these uh, things just now I explained. So the same thing for all these things, it will have a separate library uh, to uh, for use. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, try to understand what the configuration file is about. So if you go into the uh, slash etc slash pan dot d file, you can see uh, different configuration file for all the applications for the applications that are pan aware. And uh, if you open uh, the script file, uh, the configuration file, so you can see uh, uh, lines like this. So uh, the uh, it will start with type control iPhone flag and then module and module iPhone arguments so what is type so type is the one that I talked about so either this line can mention if it is an auth, uh, uh, auth configuration or it could be an account configuration or it could be a session configuration or it could be a password configuration so control flag we can have uh, like uh, five types of control flags uh, see each and every uh, flag is having a meaning and uh, uh, sufficient means that if this is satisfied uh, uh, it is uh, uh, ready to get into uh, the uh, ready to give the access for the application so request it uh, means actually uh, uh, means if this fails everything else will fail and pan is stopped and a failure message is sent so this is the means the request and required means uh, uh, it'll um, uh, it'll give a it'll take a note uh, in the log file uh, when the failure happens so that it is uh, uh, gives a track uh, it is useful to track the attackers in case of uh, attacking scenarios optional could be uh, we can say that uh, this uh, authorization uh, uh, can be easily ignored because it's not required and include means all lines uh, all lines in the config file are uh, pulled in when the corresponding parameters is matched okay now let us see the demo for the uh, PAN uh, in the SSH uh, accessing method. Okay, so uh, first we are going to see uh, the auth, auth type uh, feature for of the PAM in the SSH. Okay, so first we will have to configure the file which is uh, configuration file that is presented by etc, PAM.d and sshd file. As we have seen in the previous slide, the configuration uh, goes like this, auth uh, is the type, so we have to mention auth, and the next one is the required, required means uh, in case of failure, we need to have this uh, failure information notified in the logs, and the module that we are going to use is pam underscore list file dot so, and the module arguments are going to be item, sense, and on here. What is item? Item is nothing but the uh, user that we want to uh, give it as passes the argument for this module. And then sense is the uh, means actually either we want to allow or uh, deny the users that we are uh, listing in the file. And the file uh, uh, where we want to list the users going to be present under slash etc slash ssh slash sshd dot deny and uh, on error what we have to do is actually mentioned here so on error we want we would like to allow uh, the uh, user so that's what is this configuration about and uh, once we have this configuration uh, created uh, configuration line added into the sshd file under the pam.d directory under etc pam.d directory then we have to create the file actually that we are mentioning um, in the configuration which is the sshd.deny file under slash etc and slash ssh and this is going to be a new file that we want to create and uh, to add the users which we want to deny the access for the ssh and in this case i'm going to add ubuntu 1 and ubuntu 2 these are the two users that are there in my system i want to add these two users let's directly get into the uh, linux system now and let us see uh, the first let us see the configuration file and configuration file slash etc slash pan dot b and yes ssd this file uh, if you uh, i have added it under the standard unix authentication 
block so under that i have add i have added the line that i have mentioned it in the slide auth required and the module name is pam underscore list file dot so and the arguments are going to be item is equal to user sense is equal to deny file is equal to etc ssh ssh dot deny and on error is equal to succeed so this is the configuration that we want to add i've already added it and then i can save this so uh, please make sure you have to add this uh, um, sudo before uh, uh, editing this file because otherwise you will not have permission to uh, write any configuration okay so that is one so and then let us uh, now uh, we will have to create a new file uh, under slash etc slash ssh and here we have to create the sshd dot d9 already created it let's add the uh, uh, before adding it let's uh, let me let's try to uh, see if uh, the logins are uh, allowed uh, ubuntu 1 and ubuntu 2 are actually allowed in the system let's try that before adding that ubuntu 1 is successfully allowed let's try to create one more uh, session So that's also allowed so currently both of them are allowed now let's exit it and then we have to update these uh, users in this file save this and then now we should uh, see whether these things are or whether this user is user open to one is allowed by the pan yeah friends so uh, as we see uh, it is not allowed now let's try to uh, access with Ubuntu 2 Ubuntu 2 is also denied let me try to log in with my login which is allowed so uh, folks so that's how the uh, uh, auth type in the PAM will work okay so let's try to see the next feature in the PAM which is limiting the session okay so uh, uh, this another feature that we saw here is session so uh, so this uh, demo I'm going to show you to limit the maximum number of logins by a user by a single user and uh, the configuration file that we have to make of a change is present under slash etc slash security directory and there is a file called limits.con file and there we have to add the user we want to limit the maximum logins to so here i'm going to say alex uh, login and the username alex can have maximum number of three logins only so let's see uh, how to do that so maximum uh, number of logins for this user is what uh, we are going to add this so let's see how to do this the uh, system so sudo dc security limits dot see here so uh, this has got uh, in the last line i'm uh, i'm actually adding uh, alex and uh, the middle column you can keep it as uh, blank uh, or a iphone and then say max logins and say three i'm going to say three three my logins is allowed okay so i'm going to say three logins can are allowed uh, let's try that
currently Alex has got just one login so let's try two more logins now here's one more login now so we see two logins so far and let's create This is also allowed. Let's see how many logins. Three are allowed. So these are the maximum number that I can log into the system. If I try to log in once again, let's see what happens. So it just uh, just abruptly so the system abruptly closes the fourth terminal that I'm trying to. Uh, create or trying to access because I have uh, limited the number of sessions for the particular user at S3. So that's how the folks, uh, the session type is, will be working in the PAM. So let's see the next uh, uh, demo, which is actually the no login. So this is uh, a global uh, uh, authentication uh, restriction. Um, so this module is a sp very special model for authentication. So uh, uh, here uh, the configuration is going to be very uh, little different here. So we just have to uh, create a file called no login under slash etc directory and that's it. And ne it need not have any, any content at all into that file. So it's, uh, the system, the PAM will by just looking at the file uh, presence of the file it is going to block all the access uh, for, uh, to the system except for the root so let's try this so uh, one caution here so one caution note so you have to have a, at least one active root login window to uh, avoid access blockage to the system otherwise I mean you know uh, your system might get blocked because you will not be able to access it to the system okay so let's uh, quickly see this Close on the previous windows. Sudo Wim ETC or login. What I'm going to say touch. I just created a file called no login and now let me try to access the system with my login. And straight away it rejects the uh, access saying that remote site unexpectedly closed the network connection. So uh, in order to avoid this I have to go ahead and remove this file or a minus ef no login file and i have to remove this file to regain my ssh access yeah so now uh, i've got my access back so this is a no login uh, uh, type authentication restriction that is uh, provided by the PAM model. So this can be applied for FTP as well and uh, any other services also. Okay, so uh, that's all folks about uh, pluggable authentication module. So thanks for watching. In case if you like this video, like, share and subscribe. In case if you have any challenges or anything, any doubts, feel free to uh, write in, in the comments box. Thank you.